Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Okay, thank you for joining me, everybody. I'm going to be talking about another one of my favorite shows, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is another one of those shows I found at the right time. I'm familiar with the movie. I like it. It's nothing special. It came out in 92 by Josh Whedon. The show premiered in 1997. It's a creation of Josh Whedon's. Uh, David Greenwalt should get some credit also. It stars Sarah Michelle Gellar, Nicholas Brendan, Allison Hannigan, Charisma Carpenter, Anthony Stewart Head, David Boreanaz, Seth Green, James Masters. This list is huge. Emma Clawfield, Michelle Trachtenberg. This is another groundbreaking show in my opinion. It does everything right. Josh Whedon got his chops here, if you ask me. The synergy, the charisma between the characters, the social questions and answers that come from the show, the deep episodes. It doesn't have a huge mythology, although it develops one. But it hits the humor is just spot on. I think they're called Whedonisms now. <laughs> there is so much good about this show. It's fun, exciting. You've got um, a powerful woman in a leading role. The co-stars are incredible. They all work together so well. Another one of those times where it's just a, a perfect moment in time. It did spawn a very popular show, Angel which was another good show in my opinion, although not as, I would say, critically acclaimed in the sense of how deep the writing is, more of a, you know, a spinoff and molded to his character. But Buffy the Vampire Slayer ran for seven seasons. It does everything right. It's got awards, nominations galore. And I think at the time, it was a moment that I actually shared with friends in that we watched it every week. It's rare nowadays to think about the moments where you have all your friends together and you'd watch a show. So in that sense, it came at the right time again. Uh, now we're all older. Some of us or most of us have families and it's hard to get together as much as possible, you know, as much as we used to. But this is a show we gather around, we'd watch. It's a, a show that has seasons that are incredible. None that I feel are bad. There are turning points that surprise you. There's twists and reveals. And there might be decisions people don't agree with. That's fine. I happen to like most of them, if not all. The show gets a, so much of the interactions right. I think it changed television, maybe even movies. How you see characters portrayed and interact, I don't think it was done like this before. So I give it a lot of props for what it did at the time. You talk about characters that I bring into the worlds I create and I run as a game master. I've done it with Buffy. I bring the lore in and characters have interacted. It's also another show that spawned video games and fan fiction, comic books. I collected the comic books for years and they're incredible. As a matter of fact, when this show ended, they continued it in the comics, which I collected to a certain extent, up to a certain point. Every way you look, there's quality. The effort put in is phenomenal. I've never enjoyed a show as much as this, probably, in the fun content. Um, it just keeps you going, waiting for every episode. And some are just spectacular. I'm sure if you go and read the um, wikis and 
the citations that it has. I don't do many spoilers and plot reveals. I figure in time, if my channel grows and people are interested, I would go in depth. So maybe I would do Buffy season one, season two, give my thoughts on it, talk about some of the plots. And But for now, these are just surface level thoughts, a uh, recommendation to watch the show. If you haven't, it's not as deep and far spanning as X-Files in that sense, except for the comic book realm. So you have less seasons, less to go into. You can look at the movie being the first, because I think they probably continue that. And where the movie, I think, happens, they go to the TV show, it's just a different actress. But I think they were connecting it. There's just so much good in the show. Uh, I don't think many of the actresses and actors on the show went on to be super famous, although Michelle Gellar is super famous, I guess, in that sense. And a couple of the others here and there. But when it works on this show and it happens and you get this moment in time, it's just like I wish, I wish at the time Twin Peaks had that. Like it had four to seven seasons to just go for it back in the day. Although I did like the revival, but this is a show that just nonstop catches your heart, gives you humor. It brings you to the end of each season feeling fulfilled, although there might be nitpicks to the season ender, you know, the formulas were a little different maybe on how people view the end of a season now and where it's going to go. But I just, another show I can't stop raving about. I can watch it over and over. The repeatability, rewatching is um, some of the best. There's just so many good episodes per season that it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You watch it again and again, it just holds up. And I think it'll be a show that holds up without a doubt as the years come and go. I hope these actors and actresses are doing well. When you do a show like this, you should be given all the credit due. I think Josh Whedon has moved on and been hugely successful, especially with the Avengers. And there were themes in the show that it tackled were really deep at the time. They were groundbreaking. You have relationships and real-life drama intertwined and handled in a really sophisticated but real way. And how you have friends who you love, and sometimes that friendship leads to bigger things, but not for more than one person. And deaths in the family, and, and you know, you're, you're a superhero with a, the weight of the world on your shoulders. And it's just handled well. So well. The Monster of the Week doesn't get boring. And they don't just tackle vampires. I'll give that as a spoiler. It's so far-reaching. It's uh, so enjoyable. And they do, like I said, have their myths. And their, they feed into it at the right time. So you get a little bit more in-depth. New characters come. And... New Slayers come, and that's explained in the show. So I would recommend the show highly. Uh, maybe I'll make a playlist of my favorite TV shows, and this will be in it. And genres are important to me, so I don't like to say it's what show is the best of ever. It's just too hard. But for me, if I was to put in this genre, Buffy would be up there. Um, the reimagining of Battlestar Galactica is up there. And that's science fiction. X-Files. Just an amazing show. So watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And check out the movie too if you're interested. It's okay. It's nothing special, but it if you're a fan and you're already into it, you might want to check it out. I'll talk to everybody next time. Be good.